him as well. Well, congratulations, and, Dr. Waterman. I love having him on the program, too. And, he, of course, uh, you know, he thinks out of the box. Uh, so do I. I think I, I don't even want to believe that there ever was a box. <laughs> You're right. You're right. I, I totally agree with you. But well, I really take care. Do. I appreciate everybody listening. As I say, take care, everybody, and take action. And the time is late. You know, you were told you had two hours to do the exam, and it's just 15 minutes into the end of the first hour, and they're telling you to put your pencils down in five minutes. So, in other words, if you're not getting prepared now, you won't be. Exactly right. Yeah. Thank you so much, Doc. Folks, okay. stay tuned. When we come back, Dr. Waterman. Take care. Most Americans know the significance of July 4th, 1776. However, few know the importance of September 17, 1787, the day the Constitution was written and adopted by our founders. Unfortunately, over 200 years later, this sacred document is under attack along with our beloved republic. Throughout the span of history, brave men and women have rallied behind banners which have served as symbols of liberty against the forces of tyranny. Today, we have the Constitution pride flag to show our support for the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, freedom, liberty, and justice for we, the people of the United States. Now available at www.1787flags.com. Get your very own Constitution pride flag today and receive a free pocket Constitution with your order. www.1787flags.com the official website of the Constitution Pride Flag. That's www.1787flags.com. This is Shepard with the Intel Hub. Don't forget to check out my show weekdays at 3 p.m. Central on American Freedom Radio. Did you ever wish that you could have done something while you still had the chance? What will you do if your income ends tomorrow? Or if you lose your home as many already have? Do you have enough money to survive through an economic depression? If you don't want to gamble with your future, then FreeToProsper.com can help you quickly end your debt problems, protect your property and possessions, and develop a personal strategy to get you through the hard times. Most importantly, you get to keep your money and not pay another cent to creditors. Our program is often superior to bankruptcy, consolidation, or settlement. Visit freetoprosper.com to find out more. This is your real chance to act ahead, so don't delay. Your future may depend on it. Call 718-615-0123 to learn more. That's 718-615-0123. Or visit freetoprosper.com today. Join me, Joe Joseph, and my co-hosts, John King and A.C. Griffith, Thursdays and Sunday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern Time for Freedom Link Radio's Bridging the Gap on the Intel Hub Radio Network. Hey guys, we're back. What a... Uh... What a first hour, huh, Griff? I mean, talk about a curveball. I threw a big curveball at you with that guest. Oh, you did? <laughs> oh, I did, and I know it. Hey, and um, uh, <laughs> and boy, did you throw a curveball at him with the Federal Reserve note thing? You know, you do that to every guest. I'm just I'm pointing that out to you now, and and I've yet to hear one that actually knows exactly where you're going with that. Well, what can I say? Um, you you can't refer to the money as dollars and then say it's not a dollar. And if you can't define what the Federal Reserve, Reserve note means or is or what the promise is for the note, then where are you? The whole system is uh, fraud. It's It's worse than monopoly money. The whole monetary system in the world is a con game enslaving the people. And That's it took right. me a lifetime to realize it. That's so right. uh, you can't say gold is worth $1,300 because there are no dollars. 
No, that's right. Now, well, what, do you, what do you say then? How do you how do you compare the the value of gold? Well, you can call it anything. You can call it. Um, but how do you give it a worth? You can't. You can't. Well, it's all fake. People it's are all, doing it though. Sure they are. Sure they are. Now, before we get into it with uh, Dr. Waterman, folks, um, we have our King's Court segment. So, John, take it away. Thank you, guys. Hey, everyone. Are you a doer? There seems to be a, a division in the patriot backslash tin hat community. Not a division of left versus right, but of a sect called the doers. These are people that do as they're told. Many people that call themselves leaders call upon these so-called doers. A while back, I read an article in my newspaper that said that the U.S. government was allowed to use spy drones to monitor protest activity. They can see your face from up to 10,000 feet up and up to two miles away. Smile for the camera at those Tea Party gatherings or those gun rallies. Guess who's going to get the visit before they toss the switch? And they're not going to come for you in the middle of the night to your door like you think. They're going to get you when you least expect it when you're out at the mall with the wife and kids. Do we need doers? No. We need thinkers. People that can think for themselves and adapt to every situation not sheeple to do what you're told. You may be awake, but your pre-programming has you following a different master. Question everything and everyone, including me. If you have proof that I am full of crap, then it's your obligation to call me to the carpet. Not accept what I say as gospel. It's your responsibility to seek out the facts. If not, then you're, you base your life on what others say without offer of real proof by not seeking the proof for yourself. You are still a slave to a different master. Our Constitution does not need doers. It needs thinkers, people that can think for themselves and respond when needed to an informed response not half-cocked at the whims of a possible provocateur. Let me tell you something. You were indoctrinated from birth to think how they want you to think, do what you're told, and act like you're told to act. Your government loves you, your elected officials act in your best interests, and, but now you're much more savvy with that, at least in that respect. Mom, apple pie, and white picket fences. The American dream. The American dream doesn't exist, but for just a few people. You're a horse chasing the carrot on the stick. You're trained to grow up, have children, buy a house, go into debt, live life on a large scale, and live on credit. The American dream in reality is a ready-made nightmare. You can see that much clearly now that you're awake. You stop to look around at all the American zombies running to and fro like a collective hive working for the U.N. acting as the Queen Bee. You shake your head and you try to inform them. Although I applaud your effort, I must say to you, you must wake up before you try to awaken others. Although you claim to be awake, you're still exhibiting those same behaviors. You meet someone, they seem likable, they earn your trust, then they got you. Telling you what to do, telling you lies, turning you against others in their bid to be something they're not, or to hijack the minds of the collective. I must question their agenda. In the world of science, they have a saying, and it goes like this. Extraordinary proof requires extraordinary evidence. Until that evidence is shown, then it's just another BS story to be taken for face value from someone who is self-important or something that they are not. For all of you, I for all of you know, I may be a horse's butt. Don't judge me unless you really know me. And that's for more than just 72 hours. Ye shall know them by their works, is a verse in the Bible. It's time to come back to Kansas, people. So click those ruby slippers together and make the journey home before the queen yells, off with your head. So when does loyalty become slavery? You're not awake. You just got tired of the queen's BS and migrated to another hive. Still a drone bee, doing what you're told, acting like you're told to act, thinking to what you're told to think, just by a different person. It's like 
Obama Bush. Same crap, different butthead. Joan Griff, back to you. Thanks, John. Well, Dr. Waterman, you there? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Oh man, that's good. I'm glad. See the uh, the ads the ads were just a little bit uh were a little bit on the loud side. But folks, uh Dr. Waterman is uh simplyyourhealth.com, correct? Simplyyourhealth.com. Simplyyourhealth.com is going to be launching here in a couple of days and uh and uh what a now that's going to be a, a resource for um for uh how would you describe it? What what is simply your health going to be? All drugless therapies, services and uh, protocols, remedies, all in the approach of maybe calling it alternative health, uh, integrative, but it's all drugless therapy. And uh, how how are people going to be able to access you, or uh, how is it actually going to work? Well, when you go to, to uh, simplyyourhealth.com. Uh, there'll be some uh, tabs there. There'll be services. You can go to the service tab. You can like, uh, well, you can find out what services I offer at that one. Mm-hmm. And uh, the variety of services, uh, I can do almost everything I did when I had brick and mortar. Mm-hmm. And by the way, guys, the reason why I went virtual is to make it possible to offer services to people as long as the Internet's up. But to be able to put this new world order beast system at an arm's length has is, is been uh, uh, the goal. And to allow me to be more mobile and portable so that even though I'm still working, I'm a moving target, so to speak. I, I don't know if that makes sense. Because I could go anywhere there's the Internet. Now, when the Internet's gone, there's going to be a lot more problems for all of us than worrying about having a, uh, my website up. That's so, true. That's true. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. But well, in the meantime, that's what I – and then there's a virtual dispensary, too, and you'll be able to go there and, and link over to the um, nutraceutical manufacturers and uh, uh, all those folks. Now, you heard what uh, Dr. Uh, Deagle said in the last hour, and uh, and folks, just so you know, too uh, – Again, Dr. Waterman's show is following us at uh, at 10 o'clock Eastern. So what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to end the show just a couple of minutes early since it's his first time uh, running the switchboard and doing all that. And then we're going to go right right back around and continue whatever conversation that we were uh, we were going on. So uh, uh, stay tuned tonight because it's going to be a, a lot of stuff to cover. But last last uh, I mean on Sunday, uh, Doc, we were. Geez, we were talking about how the web bot and the uh, ancient texts, whether it be the Bible or uh, the Mayan calendar or the Aztec calendar, all this stuff kind of tied into one another. And so tonight I'd like to focus on maybe breaking that down a little bit and trying to sequence it out so people get a a little better understanding of what exactly is uh, – all this is trying to tell us because – uh, even Dr. Deagle was um, kind of pointing towards that exact same time. So, I mean, everybody here is pointing right towards the end of the year here as being the tipping point for something big. I mean, don't you agree? Oh, yeah. I think that uh, about four and a half years ago, I had been finishing up my book, and I realized I really didn't have time to publish it before – People really needed to use it, so I turned it into about a a 12-hour presentation. So uh, a lot of the information is what I was trying to convey in that real short time frame and probably confused a lot of people. Um, You know, uh, again, it's so much to grab. But I think what we can do, um, and we can casually talk about it, is the fact that we have some resources that we can look at, and when you look at these resources and they all start having uh, the same time frame doing the same thing, or you see the cause for one thing being from something in another document, then you really do begin to see a big picture. And I was writing a book. It was called uh, uh, End Times Mysteries Revealed, and uh, uh, the uh, book has seven fields of science that correlate uh, historical, like geologically historical stuff, uh, archaeological stuff, and mm-hmm. so forth, 
and it all points to everything. And, and really, I, I have to say that we're right in 